onto this menu, an easy and delicious recipe that's guaranteed to be a lot of fun. A delicious veggie, tao fun. Lei ho ma, I'm Will Young from youngmancooking.com. Welcome to the channel where you can cook with confidence. If you're not new to the channel, then you know that I absolutely love noodle recipes. And this one is absolutely delicious, really easy to make, definitely one of my favorites. Bring a pot of water to boil for the noodles. Two pieces of garlic, finely chopped. Small piece of ginger, finely chopped. Chop 60 grams of broccolini into bite-sized pieces. Chop two sticks of green onion into bite-sized pieces. One king oyster mushroom, roughly sliced. Pat dry about a quarter pound of extra firm tofu and thinly slice. Half an onion, sliced. Cook the thick rice noodles for half the time to package instructions. In this case, 3 minutes. 120 grams will be good enough for one generous portion. Stir the noodles occasionally to keep them from sticking. Strain out the noodles and set them aside. There's definitely not much to this recipe. That's pretty much it. You just have to make a delicious and simple sauce and we're ready to get cooking. Now this recipe is actually one of the recipes in the cookbook simply titled Cook with Confidence. And this book has all of the favorite recipes from the cooking show here on YouTube. To take a sneak peek inside the book or to get your signed copy, I'll leave a link in the description box below for you to check that out. Half tablespoon potato starch. Quarter cup water. Stir to dissolve the potato starch. One tablespoon rice vinegar. Two tablespoons soy sauce. Half tablespoon dark soy sauce. Add one tablespoon hoisin sauce and stir. Nonstick pan. Medium heat. Drizzle of avocado oil. Sear the tofu for two to three minutes on each side. Mm -hmm. 
Season the tofu with a little bit of salt and pepper. Set the tofu aside. Now, of course, this recipe would not be complete without that delicious chili oil I made in the previous episode. This will add that delicious, smoky, kind of little spicy flavor. I'll leave a link in the description box below to show you how easy it is so you can make this as well really easily at home. Pan back on medium heat, add in two tablespoons of chili oil. onions, garlic, and ginger. Saute for two to three minutes. Broccolini and green onions. Saute for one to two minutes. King oyster mushroom. Saute for one to two minutes. Add in the noodles followed by the sauce. Half cup bean sprouts. Saute for another minute. Add back in the tofu. Give the pan a good stir and you're done. Plate. You can now make this delicious classic stir-fry with absolute confidence. This is definitely a dish to get excited over. Mm. That is mind-blowing how packed with flavor. That is really just incredible. Visually, it is just stunning. It's so rustic and Literally looks like you were served this at a restaurant. Really, really beautiful. Those noodles really absorb that incredible, delicious sauce that's salty. It's a little bit tangy from the rice vinegar. Has a bit of that sweetness and the umami from the hoisin sauce. And it's just incredible because that sauce, when we made it, it looked like so much liquid, but because you add that potato starch, it glazes those noodles. It's just gets this beautiful caramel dark color with this kind of beautiful sheen. Because we sauteed everything in that delicious chili oil, you also get a hint of that kind of subtle, smoky, spicy flavor. And that tofu also absorbs all of that incredible flavor. I mean, really, you started out with this white tofu and these white noodles, but they turned into this delicious, beautiful, caramel dark color. The king oyster mushroom adds a little bit of umami as well as that delicious kind of chewy texture. The tofu adds that meaty texture and the broccolini adds that kind of nice crunch. The bean sprouts and the green onion also adds a little bit of that crunchiness but the freshness that it adds really contrasts with that kind of deep earthy dark flavor of this noodle dish. You really get so much flavor packed into everything and everything works so harmoniously well. Visually beautiful, so incredibly easy to make. Simple, humble ingredients and you can literally turn your kitchen into a restaurant. This is definitely a dish I would have to make every single week.
There's definitely a good reason why chow fun is such a classic dish. It really is all around amazing. And if you love easy and delicious recipes like this, then definitely check out the Vegan Ramen Cookbook or that Cook with Confidence Cookbook. I'll leave a link in the description box below where you can check these out, get your signed copy, or take a sneak peek inside the book. As well, if you're new to the channel, welcome. I'm glad you're here. In that same link, you can also pick up your free ebook that I've put together just for you that has five super easy, unintimidating plant-based recipes to help you get started with cooking today. As well, in that same link, you can also watch the first entire class of that sushi plant-based masterclass. That is a five-class series designed and curated to help you make delicious and stunning plant-based sushi right at home. That is the masterclass I always say that you'll really eat up. As always, remember to subscribe, hit that notification bell. I'll see you in the next episode.